Good morning, everybody. This is going to just be a quick little video. Oh, baby, you're getting dirty. Um, on lithium and how to charge it. And, you know, this works for pretty much any type of lithium build. You want to charge it. Let's see what we're at. I had to uncharge her for a minute. We at 15.3. It was around 14.8 when I come out this morning through the old charger on this girl. But this is what I use. And, uh. Guys, I've been using this bad boy um, uh, for about a year and a half. Tons of my friends have borrowed this charger. I mean, it's loaned out usually more than I have it in my possession. And honestly, it's a $60 Amazon job. I don't know. It's got a bull logo on it. And to find this on Amazon, just look up Laboratory Power Supply. Uh, it's really simple. It's got the red out. I put it on positive. The black out on negative. It does have a common ground if you want to use that for something. Hell, I don't know what you'd use it on, but it's there. And the trick to these is to not plug or hook them up to the battery and set your voltage. Because you can't really be tuning on the voltage while you uh, have it hooked up to the battery. Because what will happen is... You might turn it up to where it says 16 volt on this like display here, when in reality you got it set to 19 volt. So that's what happens. So just you know, set her to where you want to charge to. I got it on 16.2, 16.3. I actually set it on 16.3, and uh, I hooked it up. I got the current turned all the way up, but it only puts out like 10 amp. But this is a really good way to charge lithium. It's cheap. I don't like them like Nico and all that other stuff because the majority of them don't even want to charge to 16 volt. Um, this thing is a smart charger. Believe it or not, for a laboratory power supply, what it does that's really special is once it gets to that 16.3 where I said it, like the closer it gets, the lower the amperage is going to be. And it will literally, once it reaches where you set it to, the amperage will say zero. So, you know, it'll put out a lot of amperage till it gets close to the charge point, And then it'll just kind of like taper itself off and shut itself off when it gets there. So it's kind of a like hook it up and leave it type of thing. But I, I wouldn't leave my house with it hooked up for a long period of time or... I say I wouldn't, but I have left this thing in here charging overnight before. Um, just cause it's small amperage, you know, and the main thing to worry about is set that before you hook it up. Because if you don't set that, like I said, you could have it set way too high. Now I did have a lithium bank that came out of the old ship box that was, uh, doing nothing that needed a little work done. And while it sat in my shop for like six months, the majority of the time when I had this in my possession, it was hooked up to it. And I would leave it hooked up for like a week at a time. Never had an issue with it. But yeah, laboratory, power supply, Amazon, $60 shipped to your door. Best lithium battery charger I have ever used. And the old Blazer here, she hadn't really been started or moved and a few weeks so you know once every two weeks i like to come out hook the power supply up to it to keep the battery like nice and topped off so these amps do have a pair of acidic draw most amplifiers do not as bad as tar amps but they have a parasitic draw and that's kind of why the battery will kind of drop down over a long period of time but anyway guys and people always ask me what this is. Just look up Battery Go or Battery Monitor on Amazon. This little thing's under $40, but you do have to buy the 4S plug for it. And it'll just tell you the voltage of each cell bank. Which you can see, they're all within a hundredth. So I'd say it's good. But I always like to be able to keep an eye on the cell banks. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Peace out and base on.